Earlier this week, I came across a very interesting video on TikTok. It featured a Ukrainian combatant demonstrating a new piece of ordnance, the RPG shovel. I shared the video on Twitter, X, uh, follow me at Historic Firearm if you don't already, and the response was considerable. Culturally, the shovel is a reference back to uh, a photograph that was taken of, I believe, Russian soldiers uh, in the 2000s, and then that influenced um, a mod on insurgency in around 2016. And then later in 2018, Far Cry 5 included the um, RPG shovel as a unlockable bonus weapon, I believe. The Ukrainian combatant that shared the video had earlier also shared another video showing himself sliding an entrenching shovel into the barrel of an RPG 7. Um, several other combatants have been seen to do this during the ongoing war in Ukraine, but this combatant is the first that I've seen that's decided to make the joke a reality. In the video, the Ukrainian combatant shows how he's attached an adapter onto the handle of the wooden shovel, uh, which is threaded to a cap which allows the shovel to be screwed onto a PG-7 motor. The shovel itself appears to be a classic MPL-50 pattern shovel. The combatant then fits a booster onto the motor and takes the RPG shovel outside to be fired. It can be also seen that he's written a suitably derogatory message to the Russians on the shovel's handle. The Ukrainian combatant then launches the RPG shovel at a high angle, but it's unclear what sort of range was achieved with the shovel's aerodynamics probably being terrible. Sadly, the camera operator's fairly reasonable caution means that the actual launch is partially obscured, but just enough is visible. It's probably not the first time a shovel has been launched from an RPG, but it's probably the best in terms of close-ups and detail. Regardless, it seems to be a great example of bored soldiers finding amusing, productive ways of occupying their time. For other examples of improvised RPG warheads, see our earlier video on the fire extinguisher warhead developed by the Sheikh Mansur Battalion. In the future, we'll have a video looking at fragmentation sleeves on RPGs, as well as random stuff taped to them to increase their fragmentation effect. Thanks for watching this quick video. Don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. We have an entire playlist looking at the weapons being used in Ukraine and you can find out more over on our website armorsbench.com. Don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe, support us on Patreon and check out the History of Weapons and War app as well. Thanks for watching, catch you next time.